What's going on YouTube? My Larks here today. We're back for a player review on the Foot Captains promo. This time we picked out Tyrone Mings. Now, he's quite costly. He's 370,000 coins, so let's see why. Six foot five, medium high, freestyle, freestyle. He's left footed. Obviously, he's a centre back, so skills and that are really not irrelevant with this card. Obviously, him being six foot five, he is an absolute beast. Well, he's going to be an absolute beast. I mean, his pace is very good 83 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. I'm going to put a shadow on him. I feel like that's going to be the best chemistry style for him, just so he can keep up with all the pacey strikers on the game, such as Mbappe, Neymar, Ben Yedda, people like that that are going to be so pacey you're not going to be able to catch. His shooting's irrelevant. Obviously, we don't need to look at that, but his passing's very good 90 short pass, 90 long pass, 63 curve, which is good enough to be able to play out from the back. Dribbling wise, he's, for someone that's six foot five, he's got good agility, 80, 84 agility, 80 balance, which is good. 92 reactions, again, which is good. Obviously, the ball hitting the post, keeper saving it. You want him to just latch onto the ball and get rid of it. Now, defensively, this is where he is an absolute beast, and I feel like he's going to be a tanking game. 99 in interceptions. 95 head and accuracy, 96 defensive awareness, 99 stand tackle and slide tackle. Obviously, that is with the shadow on. Obviously, you need to get him on 10 chem to get these stats maximized out like this. Physically, you really don't need to worry about this. 82 jumping, he's six foot five anyway, so he's going to tower over most people. 91 stamina, again, which is massive, especially for a defender, because he's going to be able to last the whole game in extra time. Obviously, for a defender, mostly most of the time, balls go over the top, so that their stamina does go quickly than other players. 94 strength, 97 aggression, so again, he's going to be an absolute beast in-game. He's got two player traits, leadership trait, which obviously means he's obviously leads by the front and long passer. Obviously, he will play uh, in a 4-4-2 at centre-back. I'll change different formations. I feel like it's going to be the best formation for him. We'll be playing in a back four. Obviously, he does have, he does have high and average body type in-game, so he's got similar body types to people like John Stones on the game. So again, he will be good in-game. I feel like he's not going to be too clunky. So let's see what he's like in-game. Let's take him into a game of rivals and let's see how we get on. There you go, Mings. Look at the strength of Mings. Tidies up. Again, Tyron Mings. Defensive AI there is always in the right position. See, I wasn't controlling him there. Again, he's got decent pass as well. Accurate as well. Again, in the way again. The brick wall, Tyron Mings. Again. Tyrone Mings getting across, dealing with a danger. Again, Tyrone Mings there, clears up. And he can also drive out from the back of it as well. What a ball as well. There we go, look at Tyrone Mings catching the defenders up. What a tackle. Last ditch from Tyrone Mings, them long legs of his. Again, Tyrone Mings, just in the right position. Intercepts, plays the ball out nicely. He's looking like a very good centre back so far. Can Mings get there? Can. Look at him, just comes across. I don't think that was a foul anyway, but it's great bit of covering from Tyrone Mings. Great block. See the pace of Ming just to get across. Great bit of defending. Oh, so great interception there, Tyrone Mings. Great bit of play. Again, gets his body in the way, takes the tackle. Nice little pass up the line. So as we see from the from the gameplay, he's actually an absolute beast in game. The way that he just throws people off the ball, the way that he's just so aggressive, so strong in game, you know, he's an absolute tank. Pacey as well, like I said, as you see there, he was able to keep up with people like Mbappe, kept up with quite a few pacey players as well, some wingers, he kept up with Mane a few times as well, so he's able to match him for pace. Physically, like I said, he's a beast. Defensively, he's always in the right positions. He's basically just like a brick wall. Like I said, as soon as, he's, as he reads the ball, that's it. He, he just goes on to you. This card reminds me of a little bit like Ruben Diaz. You know, as soon as he gets within a yard of you, that's it. He takes the ball off of you. You know, it's his ball. It's like year sevens beat year 11s. That's how I see how good this guy is, you know. Anybody that comes at him, he just takes the ball straight off of him. Very good. In-game, like I say, he's got a high and average body type. 84 agility, which is good for a defender, you know. I didn't think he felt clunky at all. I felt he felt quite smooth. He was able to turn quite quickly with the ball as well when he was being pressed. So, yeah, I really like this card. Like I said, defensively, very good. Physically, very good. Pace, very good. Passing's good. Dribbling's good. 
This is probably an end game centre back to be honest with you. I don't think you're going to find too many cards like this. Obviously, there's a reason why he's still 380,000 coins, and this is the reason why. You know, he's a top tier centre back with the pace as well, which are not a lot of centre backs have this sort of pace on game. You know, he's going to have 98 accelerate, uh, 98 sprint speed, 93 acceleration with the shadow, as long as you get him on 10 chem, that is obviously. Now, if I'm going to give this card a rating out of 10, I'm going to give it a 9.5. I feel like it's a very, very good card. The only thing that lets it down slightly, slightly, slightly a little bit is just the acceleration. Obviously, it is still good at 93 acceleration. Obviously, top, top tier cards like R9 and Mbappe will probably be able to beat this card for pace. But we're talking about the top, top tier cards of the game. For me, it's a very good card. It's defensively solid. Dribbling's very good as well. And when I say dribbling, I mean agility-wise, balance-wise. His reactions are good. Good composure as well on the ball when being pressed. Defensively, he is an absolute brick. You're not able to get round him. Like I said, physically as well. As soon as he gets near you, because he's so aggressive, he just runs in, takes the ball. He's strong. He's got good stamina. He can last the whole game. He doesn't lose a header either. So for me personally, like I said, 9.5. Easy to link in as well. He's English. Plays in the Premier League. There's going to be a lot of links to be able to get this guy in on 10 chem. Like I said, the only thing that stops it being a top, top tier card is obviously acceleration. If that could be boosted about two or three, then this would be an absolute joke of a card. But they had to have a small, small fault. I wouldn't even say it's a fault. If you play a little bit of a deeper line, probably play your depth on probably about 46 to 52, then this card, you probably ain't getting around this card. But if you're like myself and play a high line at the back, then yeah, you are going to need to just worry about it and make sure you're reading them over the top balls for people like R9 and Mbappe, Ben Yedda, players like that that are just going to be able to just run round him. But that is all for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment, run a road to 1,000 subscribers. If you're looking to make more coins on FIFA, looking for general FIFA chat, or you're looking to improve your team and just need a little bit of advice, join my FIFA trader server group. The link is in the description below. It's free to join. It's on Discord. So make sure you go and check it out. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, 